Hey guys, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to edit videos really basic without downloading any software or any websites out there. Anyways, let's just get started. So right here on my desktop, I have a couple of videos. It doesn't really matter if they're on your desktop, documents folder, doesn't really matter. Just open them like so. So right click on the video, open with, and choose QuickTime Player. That's something that's already installed on all your Macs. Just open it up. Once we open up the video before we play it, on the top left hand side, you're gonna see File and Edit. So Edit will be your second option. Just click on Edit, and right here we can do a lot of things. So we can rotate, we can flip, or we can even clip. For most of you, it's gonna be clipping and trimming. So we're gonna start off with the most basic, which would be trim. Once we click on trim, down here below, you're gonna see this. For example, if I click right here, I drag, that means I am cutting this first portion. So this will not be in the final video. So let me just zoom out a little bit. Now I'm gonna clip the very first part because I don't want that static part. I'm gonna throw it up to there. Now the last portion, I also don't want that. So I want my video to go all the way up to here-ish, yep, yeah, before it turns. So I'm gonna leave it around there. That's perfect. So right now, only the yellow portion is what's gonna be in my actual video. And you might notice on the bottom right-hand side, it says trim. So just click on trim, and there you go. Once you play this video, it's just gonna play that exactly, and not the entire thing. So trimming's very basic. Most of you are gonna do that. That's why I'm showing this first. So I'm gonna pause this and teach you how to save this properly. So. Same deal, on the top left hand side, we're gonna see file. Under file, we're gonna see a lot of options, and there's two ways to do this. We can save it, however, don't suggest doing that. I suggest exporting, because maybe you don't want to save over your existing file. And here you can choose the resolution of each of your videos. So, for example, this one's 4K, so I can do that, or I can bring it down to 1080 so it's smaller, or 720 so it's really, really small. 1020 is okay-ish for iPhones or Androids, smartphones, it looks okay. However, 1080 would be the minimum I would suggest. And 4K, yes. For sure go 4K if your video is 4K. So we're gonna do that, 4K for now. From there, we're gonna get this window. And here's the important part. Change the name of your actual video so that way it doesn't go over your existing one. Later on, you guys can delete the original one. However, I never suggest just replacing with a new video. So what we're gonna do up here is just put up a name. So it's in the top middle. We're gonna see this. I'm just gonna name it houses. Then on this window, I'm gonna see on the bottom right hand side, it's gonna say save. So just press on save. And it's going to start exporting that video. So right now it's rendering it. It's gonna export it to my desktop. Of course, I could have chosen any folder in my documents, even an external hard drive or USB stick. So at this moment in my desktop, I should see this. So this is my new file, I can just open it up. And I just wanna make sure that it actually is 4K. So I really want that resolution to stay as is. So to check, all I'm gonna do is just right click. And then one of my fifth options, depends what programs you guys have, you're gonna see get info. So just click on get info. Once you click on get info, you're gonna see this window. And this is the important part, dimensions. So I really wanna keep those dimensions. So that's perfect. At this point, I'm just gonna close this video. And once you try to close it, it's gonna ask you this. Do you want to save it or not? Don't save it because we already exported the one that we wanted. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete. By pressing delete, does that delete any of your videos here? Nope, it didn't delete my original one, which is right here. It didn't delete the one that I already exported. So don't worry about that, just press delete because we already exported the one that we wanted and we still have the original one, just in case we want to take more parts from it, which is exactly what I'm gonna do in this case. So I'm gonna open this up again, right-clicking, open with, quick time. Once I open this up again, I'm just gonna go over a few things that you can do. So again, on edit, all we have to do, let's say you guys would like to rotate this. I'm just gonna go back a little bit. There we go, so you guys can see the whole video. So I'm gonna rotate this left, and it's gonna do that. So that's not a good thing in my case. You may want that. And uh, let's say I made a mistake. I can just press Command Z or Command Z on my keyboard and it's gonna go back. So I can do that as well. I'm gonna go again to edit 
And from here, I'm going to rotate right. And it's going to rotate it right. I'm just going to press Command Z, go back, edit. This time, I'm going to flip it horizontal so you can see what that does. As you guys can see, it did this effect. So I just went back and forth. And now I'm going to do the flip vertical. And it does this. So there's a lot of things we can do with QuickTime Player. So those are the real basics that we can do with QuickTime Player. Obviously, there's limits of what we can do. These are just for really quick edits that you may need to do to your videos. For now, I'm going to do the basic trimming again. So I'm going to go to Edit. I'm going to go to Trim. And I'm just going to move this along. I'm going to do the next part of my video. So let's say I want my next part of my video to be up to here. Then I want to move this so the ending is around here. I can make it really, really, really short. Trim it. Done. And this time I can just export it as the smallest 1080 or anything else. For now, I'm just going to quit this. And anyways, those are the real basics right here with QuickTime. It's something that you don't have to download. It's already installed. If you guys have PC, well, then you do have to install QuickTime Player, which is a free player, but uh, you can also edit stuff on it. And just one more thing before I go, I'm going to open up the original one. So the original video right here, you guys can see that it says DJI, blah, 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 blah. And then the one that I trimmed down, which says houses footage number one. So do I see a difference in quality when exporting from QuickTime Player? No. I can tell you immediately, and if you guys see a difference, let me know. However, you guys are watching this on a 4K screen where you might notice there is no difference between the two videos. So they're the same size. Quality has not gone down. So if I play this, obviously this one's unedited. And I'm just going to play this one kind of when this other one starts. So I'm going to wait for that one to start moving. And there we go. So you may not, you may notice that the quality is the same. So there's no huge difference in colors, quality, nothing like that. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.